Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to another video. Today is another patron requested video. This was requested by Rhonda, so thank you Rhonda for this idea. I think um, a lot of us have this problem when it comes to junk journaling and I'm excited to give you guys some ideas for how to use like illustrated pages, little golden book pages like this, or like botanical pages. Um, I know that we, a lot of us collect these type of pretty pages. Um, this is an Edith Holden page, but when it comes to it, we're like, okay, how do we use this without covering it all up? So I'm gonna show you a few ways um, that I like to use. I even grabbed this little page here because I had some ideas. And so I'm gonna start off with this like little golden book page. I'll try to set these things aside. I've showed this before, but I figured why not just show you guys a few ideas all in one video for how I like to use these things. And the very first way is gonna be pretty darn simple. We're gonna make just a pocket out of this. And I am making these things to be able to fit into my own journal so that I can eventually actually use them in my journal. So. We'll start out with, you know, grab a page that you really like and figure out if you need to trim any of it off. Um, this is a little tattered at the top, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just rip like that. You can cut if you'd like yours to have a nicer edge. And I'm not really worried too much about like the words. I'm just kind of focusing on the actual picture. And it does have a few more little tears, but I'll figure that out as I go. I'm also gonna take some coffee dyed paper, but you can take um, just any kind of cardstock that you want. And I'm just gonna cut a second page that's just about the same size, maybe even a teeny bit bigger. This is really one of my favorite ways to use illustrated pages that I want to become like a more functional page in my journal. So let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of ink up, even though this is all pretty um, distressed, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And from here, you can decide if you want to, you can just make a simple pocket and you can just go ahead and sew or glue around the edges, but I'm gonna show you how I would be using it or how I would be. So since I'm going to put this in my journal and I want this just to be the whole page, I'll, you know, utilize the pocket. Of course, I'm going to make like a little layered part and I'm going to use some handmade paper that I have here. So I'm just going to basically just make a little layered embellishment to go across here. And yeah, I'm not really, I could do it at the top basically or the bottom. I think since I'm not too worried about the words, um, no, we're gonna go like that. And I do have some scraps next to me, so let's see here, I'm just gonna take a little piece of this fabric, kind of go like that, and let's see what else, maybe even a little bit of lace. Um, we'll go with just some pink. This is pretty pink here, but that's okay. I think it kind of looks pretty that way. And then what else? Maybe even I have my scraps here, like I mentioned. Just gonna grab a little piece of vellum. And this might be a little much, but you kind of get the point. You can just make whatever you want. And then I could also put like a button or an embellishment. And so I have my little embellishments here. Um, let's see here. All right, I think I'm gonna use these two. This says you are here. Now it's a little bright and I think it doesn't quite match this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ink it up a bit. And that's one of my tricks for being able to use like newer, more modern embellishment styles um, with vintage, just use your ink and then it matches a little bit better. And I'm just gonna use both of these little circles. I kind of like how they look here. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just take this over to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew straight across. 
So definitely be sure to, if you are embellishing your page, make sure to sew this on first before you um, put the pocket together. So I'm just gonna... And then while I'm here, I'm just gonna take my back piece and I'm gonna sew just all around the three edges. And don't worry if you don't have a sewing machine, you can totally use, like I said, glue or other adhesives. the first way and then you can go ahead and you know put a tag inside and that's where you can do your journaling or add a photo and then it looks really cute in a journal and you've you know you can see your whole picture so let me show you another idea that I had let's see I'm just gonna figure out which one I want to use here so for this one I'm gonna cut it down to be closer to the size of my journal or tear it. Trying to keep most of the picture visible, but you can keep it a little bit wider because we're actually gonna make this a little flip out page. And so this is a really simple one. But again, another way that you can use the page and have it be more functional. So now you can, use that same idea where I did with the pocket. So if you wanted, you can add, you know, some um, fabric or like a little ruffle of fabric would look really pretty. So I'm just gonna take um, a little piece of fabric actually and kind of just scrunch it up like so. For this one, I'll just use my staple. Just put a few staples in there to hold it in place. And then I'm going to take this little label here with the little butterfly and also staple those pieces on. Again, you can use the sewing machine. That would look super cute. But once you have folded this page over, you've already created the flip. So you can go ahead. I'm not going to actually put this in my journal because I'm not sure where I want to put it, but you can see. So you'll glue down your flap right here. And then you have the pretty picture, but then when you open it, you know, you still have this whole, both sides here for journaling or post putting pictures. So I'm gonna set that one aside because I don't want to put it in here, but I have a couple more ideas here for you guys. And so let's see, I can't decide. I think I'm gonna just use these two and then be done here. So for this next one, think I'm gonna use this pretty picture here I'm just gonna cut around it so I have a page protector here and then I went ahead and cut down my picture I realized the backside actually has a really cute image too so um, when I grabbed this I got a few ideas so one you can go ahead and place your image in a page protector and then we're gonna go ahead and cut around it so that it's just a little bit bigger and then you can use this as like a shaker pocket that you can place into your journal and just have it be kind of a, you know, a pretty image. You could also put a picture or journaling on the back of it, but I'm not gonna do that with this one actually. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic and I am going to cut it down actually to be a little bit smaller than my image. So let me do that. And then keep in mind for this, you do want both layers. I know this is really hard to see. You do want both layers of the page protector so that it's still a pocket. And so I cut this down just a little bit smaller than my image. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to sew this whole pocket right on top of my image, keeping the top open. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over my sewing machine and sew all the way around the three um, sides, leaving the top open. So once you've done that, you could also use a staple or, you know, 
tape or glue, double-sided double tape, I should say. So now you have this that you can put into your journal. You can have it floating and just have it be like a journaling card or, you know, glue it down. But then you have this pocket that actually goes on top of the image. So you can, you know, put something here. And then when you pull it out, you have that pretty image. And again, I think the idea of using this as a shaker pocket is just as cute. So I'm gonna show you guys one last idea because it's actually something that I want to put in my journal. And instead of, you can do the same idea though with a larger piece, don't worry about what size your pages are. Um, I'm gonna make a little booklet, but I was gonna use this, which is actually more like a die cut. But I went ahead and took some coffee dyed paper that I already cut down and I just went ahead and measured like so um, two times the size of the card so I can fold it over and make like a little booklet basically and I'm just gonna glue this one but I'm gonna go ahead and just glue just in case I want to use this as a pocket I'm gonna just glue around the three edges here. This part doesn't really matter, but basically you're just gonna make your image into a pretty little booklet. booklet. <laughs> um, so basically gonna go like so. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can like hand stitch or I'm just gonna go to my sewing machine and just sew all the way down the center of this little booklet. Then you can fold it and that's just an easy quick way to bind your little book so there you go you have your little booklet you can fill this with journaling and pictures but then you have your really pretty um, image on front i made that into a pocket so i can just add a little tag and you can put this inside your journal and add extra space and then you know have that really pretty image there I know I said I was done, but I have one more way just because I really want to utilize this really pretty book page here. And this is just another really simple thing that I like to do with book pages. I'm going to take a manila tag just to make this easy. If you don't have one, you can just cut one out, however, whatever shape you want. And for this, I'm simply just going to add glue all over it. And I'm going to glue a part of this book page onto the tag. Now, of course, this might be better for smaller book pages or, you know, or I can get a couple tags out of this so this doesn't take up the entire image, but for me that's okay because I can use the rest of this book page for something and I'm just going to cut around like so. And then I would probably use this book page or sorry, I would probably use this um, tag inside my journal. Just simple enough by showcasing showcasing the pretty images here. And then you can poke your little hole. I'm just gonna go like this. And again, you can spruce this up as much as you want by adding embellishments or really just keeping it simple. So I'll just add a little bit of ink and then I think it looks finished enough. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed these different ideas for how to use illustrated book pages in your journals. Um, I'll definitely be using these things in my journals throughout the next few journal with me. So um, stick around so you can see how I use them in an actual journal spread and I will see you guys later. Bye.